Hey everyone, Team UDF here for some Smash Wii UDF, the only place you can find Smash Wii UDF. Okay, so anyway, uh, this is going to be actually post-commentary because of the old footage getting lost and everything. Uh, also, you could tell by the lack of DLC characters here in the, uh, the list, so... Uh, but what's also funny is I don't think I've seen these in so long to where... You know, well, I haven't seen them in so long that I could probably actually do, I don't know, live commentary, so... Uh, I'm gonna try to do, like... I'm still gonna try to call the live action and everything. And here we go, of course, as we can see for tonight, we've got our first match. Bowser Jr. going one-on-one -on -one with Yoshi. We're on Norfair tonight. And we're going to destroy everything. So here we go. Uh, let's see, Yoshi and Bowser Jr. feeling each other out here for a bit. Uh, Bowser Jr. finally getting in there, maybe. He throws a bomb, nothing happens, though. Yoshi just, okay, gets thrown off the ledge there. I don't know what the foot Yoshi was doing there, but... All right, uh, Bowser Jr. going at it here, bashing him away. Yoshi... Running. Bowser Jr. with an item. Oh, but blows himself up by mistake. Yoshi managing to catch up a little bit. Remember, at uh, the Kalos Dream event, Bowser Jr. running away with a huge victory against uh, Mario. And Bowser Jr.'s actually kind of felt a little entitled to the Mushroom Kingdom after that match. And uh, so we may have a repeat of history here where Bowser Jr. is looking to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. So as Mario recovers from the beating he suffered at the Kalos Dream event, it looks like Yoshi is going to try to defend the honor of the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, Bowser Jr. Down as he fell off the uh, because of the lava. Yoshi's got a pow block and hiding it. Oh, bashes him. Not too much good, though. Maybe going to try to use the box to his advantage. No, it looks like he uses the pow block again. Nice combo attack there by Yoshi. Oh, but Bowser Jr. now blocking. Oh, misses with the tongue. Yoshi on the ledge here. Puddle smash ball in play. Bowser Jr. could be looking for Shadow Mario here. Here we go, Shadow Mario incoming. Oh no, he sends him off the top of the screen instead! And the Shadow Mario, little more than a taunt for Bowser Jr., who continues to be dominant here in Smash Wii UDF. Holy crap, Yoshi not able to defend the honor of the Mushroom Kingdom tonight. What is Bowser Jr. going to try to do now that he's beaten both Mario and Yoshi? Well... And our next match to come up here with is, uh, I believe it's, uh, Zelda versus Lucario. Let's see if we, uh, yeah, okay, there, there's the Zelda. I believe, yeah, Zelda versus Lucario sounds about right. Here we go. All right. And of course, all our matches, this is a typical episode, so we're back to the one arena per night thing. All right, so Zelda Lucario, kind of underutilized here, although <laughs> back then they were. Uh, Zelda, of course in the timeline just competed in the golden tur uh, the golden ticket tournament rather which was won by Link so all of our friends from Hyrule here are actually doing pretty well for themselves uh, Ganondorf of course the champion of champions Zelda had an impressive showing in the tournament and now Link is the golden ticket holder so let's see what Zelda could do against Lucario here who is looking I believe for his first one-on-one -on -one victory I can't quite remember assist trophy in play as is a piece is that a piece of the daybreak no it's not okay well, none of that's doing any good, but Lucario now, with the hurry, perhaps, trying to take advantage against Zelda. She's doing quite a bit of damage to her right now, actually. Oh, there's a fire bar in play. Lucario takes control of that. Lucario had the fire bar last time, too, I believe, against Lucina in the Golden Ticket Tournament, but if I recall, that didn't work out too well for him. Maybe he's going to go for another attempt here. Oh, this time manages to knock Zelda off the ledge. Of course, the dangers of this map are the lava floating about. We didn't see too much of it in the Yoshi Bowser Jr. match, but there we go! And Lucario pays the price, getting sent off the top of the map there by the lava. That was the Pokeball in play. More Electric Mouse action. And Zelda, trying to keep her distance from it, manages to do so. Misses with the Dins Fire, though. A bit ago. Oh, Lucario with a huge attack, but no, Zelda's still in it. Floating down on the side. Uh, ledge grab. Playing a dangerous game as always. There's more curry. Oh, I thought that was curry. Maybe I'm mistaken. Looks like it was just a piece of food. Oh, Zelda getting destroyed here, but manages to still hang on with the 122. I gotta go back and see what the record for damage is. I know it's above 207. It might be above 207. I know Mario had a 207 at some point. Warp Star, here comes Zelda! Oh, but Lucario hangs onto the ledge. Does not allow Zelda to finish him off at that juncture. Zelda trying to swipe. Oh, got the throw. Oh, throws him the wrong way, though. Might have been able to dump Lucario out of the battle. Misses with the throw. There's a drill in play now. Going for the drill on Lucario. Just barely misses. Wow, nice maneuver there by Lucario. Lucario, uh, if he gets that 100, he'll be in uh, overcharge beast mode. Oh, no, he's done. Never mind. 
He fell off the side and the lava was not there to pad his fall. So Zelda continuing her streak of good luck here. Doing quite good for herself. She defeated Peach in the Princess vs. Princess Brawl in the tournament recently, so... There's that. Alright. And now, uh, before we get to the next match, I think we, we do have one announcement that we would like to make, is uh, uh, Dark Pit and Pit are going to be... Uh, I don't know, we've got some news regarding them next time, apparently. I guess that, I guess that isn't this time, but... Uh, what we do have for you this time is a tag team match. And as uh, my former self sets up the tag team bout, what we are going to announce for you is it is in fact time for Ganondorf to defend that Champion of Champions trophy again. Even though Link has the golden ticket on the horizon, we are going to crown a new number one contender for you next week. Well, I, I, I shouldn't say next week. Maybe we'll just say next show. Well, on the next show, we're going to crown a number one contender. And it's going to be a triple threat match. And the competitors are going to be Samus, Pikachu, and the winner of the Newcomer Battle Royal ages ago, Robin. So, triple threat match to take place on the WarioWare map with the winner facing Ganondorf at Plaza Party for the Champion of Champions trophy. Will the Warlock finally be dethroned, or is he just waiting for his next uh, victim? We'll have to find out. Speaking of victims, we remember what happened at Mikado's Dream Event. Samus and Pikachu joined by Luigi to take on the Entourage of Darkness, and they managed to win against the Entourage. So now King DDD and Wario are going to be looking for some revenge here, and we're going to have it be three stocks because this is so personal. So we're going to make sure that the fight continues well into the night here. Here we go. Luigi and Samus continuing to fight the good fight for the Rebels here as the Entourage of Darkness hopes to impose its will forcefully on just everybody in Smash Wii UDF. So let's see what we got going on here. King Dedede and Wario, they're a little behind as far as damage goes right now, but Wario's got a, uh, was that a mine he maybe picked up? I think he threw it into the air. Oh no, it was a Pokeball. All right. Oh no, what happened? King Dedede just fell off the, uh, the map. And now the Entourage of Darkness finds their, uh, well, they're, I guess, only tag team down a whole stock right now. Luigi's pretty beat up, though, so he might go flying if the Entourage can get a, a good shot on him. Uh, Ganondorf especially has got to be very mad with Luigi, who showed up out of nowhere in the Kalos Dream event, and now Wario eliminated as well. This is not good if you're the Entourage of Darkness, because they have got to impress Ganondorf. Ganondorf none too happy about his elimination from that six-man tag team match we had. Oh, Dragoon in play! Here we go! Dragoon looking now, but Samus manages to avoid it. And King DDD unable to put her away. So yeah, nobody's been able to get hold of Ganondorf. We can't even get him to participate in the shows right now. He's so mad at what happened. He was not expecting Luigi at all. And Luigi, being ever the rebel again, just refuses to go out. King DDD almost ready for uh, his second stock to be lost. And Luigi's still hanging out here with uh, the first stock. As is Samus, of course. But Luigi's really racking up that damage, and the Entourage just can't put him away. King DDD, I think he's got the he's got the Daybreak. Turn around the Daybreak. Oh, and blast both Samus and Luigi for a double KO. Very nice there. The Entourage some, uh, finds themselves tied up as far as stock goes, but King DDD is still um, he's still in the danger zone here. He, oh, there he goes. All right, well, King DDD down to one stock now. Wario's going to want to start helping his tag team partner more. Maybe this final Smash Ball will be able to do it for the Entourage. Oh no, Samus going for the big laser. Here we go and fights back. King DDD getting blown away but manages to survive because of the low damage count. However, the Entourage now finds themselves down four socks to two. And Luigi and Samus may be looking to defeat the Entourage once again and make an embarrassment out of them. Ganondorf cannot be pleased with this at all because he specifically chose King DDD and Wario thinking they were worthy of being his buddies. There's little minions here in this entourage, centered around the Champion of Champions, but uh, thus far they've not been able to win a match except a, a two-on-one against Robin. Uh, so in any case, well, Luigi finds himself down to his last stock finally. The entourage finally making a comeback against Luigi at least, but now Samus is the danger card as far as the entourage is concerned. There's Gardevoir in play. Another Electric Mouse Doom attack. Oh, is that Suicune? No, that's not Suicune, that's something else. But, uh, oh, Samus in trouble gets bounced, but no, still manages to stay in. 
Here's another assist trophy in place. So many assist trophies right now. And King DDD, he's about to get eliminated. Here's a blue shell on Samus. We saw in the... Oh, man! In the, the post-show of Episode 9, how dangerous those blue shells could be. King DDD eliminated, though. And now Wario finds himself in a two-on-one situation. Ganondorf cannot be happy with, happy with this at all. Oh, and Samus gonna finish him off here. No, he manages to survive, but oh my god, that deadly combo attack. Absolutely devastating Wario for the win. And the Entourage find themselves down again. Bang, bang. Red team. Luigi. Luigi might have made all the difference in this feud. The Entourage just can't figure out how to deal with him. And Luigi helps Samus to victory one more time. And wait a minute, we're getting a... I'm getting a, an announcement here. What the heck does this mean? This paper says that, uh... It's from Ashley, the host of our next show on WarioWare. Apparently... Okay, I'm just gonna read what it says, very confused. It says, on the next show, Luigi will stand trial for the crimes he has committed against the Entourage of Darkness. I don't know what the flid that means. Luigi looking to be in trouble here, I think. Um... I, I hope he's okay. I don't know. I don't know what they mean by crimes he's committed against the entourage of darkness. We, we gotta get to our main event though, and um, our main event is actually a tag team championship match. Remember, Marth and Ike went all the way through the Dream Team tournament in order to win the championships at the Kalos Dream event. So they've only had those titles for a couple shows now, but for some reason. Martha and Ike are ready to fight, and they have decided they are going to fight against a random champ- a random team tonight, and the titles are up for the grabs. So let's see. Three, two, oh, it's Mega Man and Pac-Man! The Manly Men team going to try to win the Tag Team Championships here, so just because my English was a little off before, we'll reiterate that Martha and Ike have put up the Tag Team Championships for grabs in this match. So if they lose, they are no longer the champions. Mega Man and Pac-Man will be the champions. So of course we got four stocks, eight minutes on the clock, our usual championship match rules here in Smash Wii UDF. Let's see if Pac-Man and Mega Man can upset Fire Emblem and rip those tag team titles away from them, but not if Pac-Man gets eliminated super early like that. Not good at all. Now one of my favorite tunes playing for this main event match here today, that's always good to hear. Let's see here. I'm gonna check my sound really quick as the action gets rolling here. Okay, it seems fine. All right, good. Okay, Ike now. He's really beat up, but uh, Pac-Man and Mega Man have a two-on-one against Marth, but Martha's just fighting both of them off right now. Holy crap! He's not taking any crap, but he might finally get eliminated here. No, he manages to get back. Oh, he actually he went the wrong way. Or no, maybe someone hit him. I saw the little uh, the flash thing. That's interesting. So Martha uh, down a sock now. Looks like Mega Man also took a fall at some point, probably when I was checking my sound. Here's the, uh, the, whatever the flit eye thing in play right now. Oh, Ike with a nice combo attack on Pac-Man there, and sends uh, Ike away, does Mega Man. Here comes the lava now, everybody trying to avoid it, but uh, I don't think they're going to be able to get in the side. Oh, everybody gets destroyed by it. Mega Man down now to two stocks. Martha and Ike, very impressive so far in their first championship defense. Oh, there goes Ike finally. Pieces of the Dragoon in play. Here comes the Dragoon, and oh my god, did it hit both of them! Oh wow, Marth going out at least. Ike managed to dodge it, it seems. Here's the final smash ball now. Pac-Man and Mega Man tying things up and coming back here, but now Marth has the final smash. Oh, but misses! And goes flying off the ledge, but he is going to be able to make it back up. Ike now coming back, but he eats the two-on-one attack from Mega Man and Pac-Man, the manly man of doom. Not, not of doom. Stop saying of doom. Pokeball in play. Ike's got... Oh, no. Never mind. It's one of those bulb things. Oh, there goes Pac-Man. Oh, no. The champions are in control again, but they do have high damage, which means Pac-Man and Mega Man can very easily take advantage here. Pac-Man using his ghost friends. I guess they're now his friends. I don't freaking know. I got nothing. <laughs> Why not? Pokeball in play. Ooh, oh no. I thought Pac-Man was out of it. Oh my god, Ike getting destroyed there in the uh, little pod. And there goes Ike. Very deadly. Oh, Marth also eliminated. Holy crap, Marth and Ike are down. Three stocks to four right now. Pac-Man and Mega Man are also in fairly decent condition. Here's an assist trophy, though, on the part of Fire Emblem, I believe. Ike healing up some damage as to Pac- Oh, Pac-Man going flying. 
Nope, he's still in it, I think. Yep. But Mark wait and Ike waiting for him. Has it been Electric Mouse been in every match tonight? Maybe not one of them. Holy crap. That Electric Mouse is everywhere. Oh god. Well, Pikachu would be proud at least. Oh, the Aegis Shield in play here by Pac-Man. Trying to block maybe some sword attacks, but he just gets beat up by that uh, lava. Pac-Man and Mega Man still in control stock-wise, but they're, they're starting to eat a bunch, a bunch of damage here. Too much damage even as Pac-Man goes down. And now it's all tied up, free stocks. Damage even fairly even here as Marth and Mega Man can both be eliminated very easily. But of course, um, if Marth is eliminated, Ike will give up a stock to uh, get him back in the match. There goes Mega Man, though. No bonus stocks for the challengers now. As Marth and Ike are determined to defend their championship. Here we go. Oh, man. It looks like the final smash in play for Ike, who manages to eliminate Pac-Man from the match. Mega Man suddenly finds himself alone. And we, we've seen what happens before when people are all alone against Marth and Ike. This is about to turn very bad for Mega Man, I think. Who? Oh, my God. They've invoked the power of Elec Man against Mega Man. Oh, so Mega Man not only finds himself in a one-on-two situation, but now one of his former robot master at Rivals... Oh, takes him out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that Fire Emblem always impressive here in Smash Wii UDF. Uh, Marth and Ike retain their titles, so they are going. They are still the tag team to beat here in Smash Wii UDF. Will anyone be able to take those tag titles from them? We're out of time, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Boy!